In this video, we're going to take a look at how to integrate the Machine Learning Agents Toolkit into our Karting Micro Game. We will refer to the Machine Learning Agents Toolkit as ML Agents Toolkit in this video. Machine Learning is a subset of artificial intelligence where instead of explicitly programming behaviors, we teach the machine how to accomplish the behavior. This is analogous to how we as humans learn over time, such as learning how to crawl and walk when we were toddlers. The ML Agents Toolkit is a Unity feature that enables games and simulations to serve as specialized environments to train intelligent agents. What do we mean by intelligent agents? In the context of Unity, intelligent agents are typically represented as game objects. So training intelligent agents is another way of saying training game objects to accomplish a particular set of goals in our games without explicitly programming instructions to do so. In the Karting Micro game, our ML agent scenes are typically set up with a few major components. The training environment, the level that we want our agents to observe and familiarize with, which in our case is our racetracks. The agents are the game objects we want to train so that they can accomplish a goal, such as driving without colliding with the track walls. And finally, our academy, which collects all observations done by our agents and trains the agents. Head over to the Unity Editor and open up the Kart Classic Training Demo Scene, which can be found in the Project window at Assets, Karting, Scenes, ML Training. Let's take a look at the Country Track Training Game Object, which is a child of the Training Set A Game Object. The Country Track Training Game Object is an example of a training environment. It consists of the decor, the meshes that make up the tracks, and a series of agent checkpoint colliders. These colliders help guide the training agent to move in the correct direction during training. Click the Country Track Training Game Object again. On it, we can see a component called Debug Checkpoint Ray. This is a component designed to help us debug the order of the checkpoints and their relative direction. We typically want to ensure that our colliders are in order and facing the forward direction of our track because this greatly helps our agents learn the environment. To ensure that the colliders are ordered correctly in the hierarchy, Use your mouse to follow along the tracks in the scene and click on each collider. Verify that the collider game objects are highlighted in the corresponding order. The first collider on the track should be the topmost collider in the hierarchy, and the last collider on the track will be the bottommost collider in the hierarchy. This is important as we will be using this order when we set up our agent's collider references. Underneath the country track training game object in the hierarchy, view the Kart Classic ML Agent which is the agent we intend to train. The Kart Classic ML agent is similar to the Kart Classic prefab, with the exception that there is an added behavior parameters and Kart agent component. Generally, the behavior parameters define how we should allow the agent to interpret its own actions. We want the agents to mimic actual human players by generating input data similar to that of a controller or keyboard. This is done in the vector action configuration of the behavior parameters. A vector action space type of discrete means that we define the actions to be an array of integers. For the Karting Micro game, we define two branches which are representative of our X and Y input axis. By defining branch zero size to three, we allow the agent to understand that there are three possible integer values that are generated for the X input axis, zero, one, and two. A branch one size of two indicates there are two possible integer values that can be generated for the y-axis, 0 and 1. For a detailed explanation of the behavior parameters component, please view the documentation over on GitHub, which is linked in the description below. Now let's view the cart agent component. The cart agent component is the primary component which will observe the training environment and generate the inputs needed to drive the cart. If we view the observation params, we define how the agent will observe the environment by using the transforms defined in the sensors, raycast distance, and mask fields. At each training step, the agent will raycast in a radial arc and will determine how close it is to the track walls. If the agent is too close to the wall, then a crash is detected. You can manipulate what it means to be too close to the wall by modifying the hit threshold of each field element in the sensors field. The hit threshold is typically a value between zero and one and is the fraction of the value defined in the raycast distance. By viewing the colliders field in the checkpoints section of the cart agent component, 
we can see that the agent checkpoint colliders that were previously designed in the scene are assigned to the agent. These colliders simply help guide the agent in the right direction when driving. With reinforcement learning, we can reward the agent when it successfully drives forward towards the checkpoints and discourage the agent if it crashes into the track walls. After successfully completing the number of steps defined in the cart agent component's max step field, or crashing, the agent resets on a random checkpoint and trains again. This allows the agent to adopt a strategy of trial and error to infer what kind of inputs work. We can adjust the rewards in the reward section of the cart agent component. We generally want to give the agent small rewards when it moves towards the checkpoint and larger rewards when passing through the checkpoint. This introduces a positive feedback for the agent as it trains over time. We have provided some pre-trained agents for you to view and play with. Press the play button in the editor to see how the agents perform. Now that we have a general overview of how the scenes are set up, let's set up our custom scene to train our agents. But before we get started with training, the ML Agents Toolkit relies on another programming language called Python and an external Python-based machine learning library called TensorFlow which will be responsible for training our agents. We will walk you through the steps needed to install these dependencies. On Windows, if you do not have Python 3.7 installed, head over to python.org and download Python 3.7.x 64-bit. Once downloaded, run the installer and make sure to select Install Python to Path in the dialog, as we will be using Python specifically from the command prompt. On Mac OS and Linux, Python 3 should be installed by default on your local machine. To verify that you have Python 3, open up a terminal instance by pressing Command and Space on Mac OS and search Terminal. Enter the command Python 3, and if a prompt appears, you currently have Python 3 installed. In your command prompt or terminal, change your current directory to that of your Unity project by typing cd path to Unity project. We need to create a local virtual environment using Python so that the Unity editor can interact with TensorFlow. On Windows Command Prompt, type in Python M V E N V V E N V. On Mac OS or Linux, type in Python 3 M V E N V V E N V instead to specify that we want to use Python 3. This creates a virtual environment for Python specifically for this project instead of a global one that would be used in every subsequent Python-related project. To activate the virtual environment on Windows, enter venb scripts activate. On Mac OS or Linux, enter the command source venb bin activate. Finally, install the dependencies by typing in pip install iv ml agents 0.13.0. .0. This will allow the Python package installer to download that specific version of the ML Agents package. This package will also install the TensorFlow and the Unity ML Agents bindings that allow communication between a Unity training instance and TensorFlow. Now head back to the Unity editor and create a new scene by pressing Ctrl N on Windows and Command N on Mac. Drag the Cart Academy prefab from the Assets, Carting, AI, Cart Academy folder in your project to the hierarchy. Create a new empty game object at the origin and call it Training Environment. Create a child game object under the training environment named Track and subsequent additional child game objects named Decor and Agent Checkpoints. Build your modular track as a child of the Decor game object. You can find the modular track prefabs under the Assets, Carting, Modular Track Kit. Create a single cube as a child under the Agent Checkpoints game object. Scale the cube so that it fits the width of the track and ensure that the cube is on the Training Checkpoints layer. You can remove both the mesh renderer and mesh filter components from the cube now. Make sure that the is trigger field in the box collider is checked. Duplicate the cube by pressing Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Mac and move the cubes along the track.
you can add the debug checkpoint ray to the track game object and assign all the checkpoint colliders to the colliders field. This utility will show the order of the colliders and their relative direction of each collider. If the yellow line pointing away from the collider is inconsistent with the general direction of the track, rotate the collider so that its forward direction is pointing in the general direction that we want our cart to drive around the track. Finally, grab the Cart Classic ML Agent Prefab from Assets, Carting, Prefabs, Cart Classic folder in your project and drag it into the hierarchy as a child of the training environment game object. Inspect the Cart Agent Components Colliders field and lock the inspector. Multi-select the recently created collider checkpoints by shift clicking and dragging them to the colliders field. Ensure that the checkpoint mask field is set to training checkpoints so that the agents can determine whether they've passed through the colliders. Before training, it is important to remove the assigned neural network from the model field in the behavior parameters component and ensure that the mode field is set to training instead of inference in the cart agent component. To train the agent's brain faster, you can duplicate the cart classic ML agent as many times as you want, but the more agents you add, the slower the simulation runs. Adding more agents will allow for more observations to be processed and will contribute to the single brain that is learning, but will not mean that you are training multiple brains simultaneously. Head back to the command prompt or terminal instance and run the following command again. ML agents, learn, path to project, assets, carting, prefabs, AI, cart underscore mg underscore trainer underscore config dot yaml, train, run ID, custom track, one. To stop training, press the play button again in the editor and the train brain will be saved at path to your project models run id arcadedriver.nn. Import the arcade driver nn file into your project and assign it to the behavior parameters components model field in the cart classic ml agent game objects. To view the results of your agent's training, make sure that the mode field in the cart agent's component is set back to inference instead of training. Press the play button again to see how your agent drives in your custom training track. To learn more about the Machine Learning Agents Toolkit, follow the links in the video description below. And if you've unlocked the smart carts and they're ready to race, check out the creative mods on the Karting Micro Game page to continue to build and customize your game to the max. Thanks for watching.